Now we're going to talk about how to add complex numbers. So if you have two complex numbers, how do you add them? So we're going to start off with just two generic complex numbers, a plus bi plus c plus di. And if you want to add them, it's basically just like combining like terms. You add the real parts together and you add the imaginary parts together. So your real parts, remember, are the ones that are not attached to the i. So you'll add the a and c together. And then you'll also add the imaginary parts together, which is the bi and the di. And this part right here actually ends up separating into b plus d, because you can pull the i out, b plus di. So let's do an example. Example four, we're going to add two minus seven i plus eight minus three i. So again, you want to add the real parts together. So the two and the eight. And you want to add the imaginary parts together. So negative seven i plus negative three i. So I'm putting another parentheses in here because the three i is negative. So this minus sign stays with that three i. So two plus eight is 10. And then se negative seven minus three is negative 10. So that would be negative 10i. And so that's how you add complex numbers. So 10 minus 10i will be your final answer. Subtraction works very similar, except there's only one thing that's different. So if I take two generic complex numbers and I want to subtract them, then one way to do it is you could think of subtracting the real parts and subtracting the imaginary parts. Or you could think about distributing this negative. Either way you do it, you get the same answer. So you can distribute this negative, drop the parentheses, and then essentially combine your like terms. So your like terms will be the real parts. So A minus C and the imaginary parts, B I minus D I. And again, you can pull the I out on this last part. So A minus C plus B minus DI. So that's the same as saying subtract the real parts, subtract the imaginary parts. You get the same thing in the end. So you can do it either way. Okay. So for example five, we are going to subtract 15 plus 21I minus 18 minus 40I. So if you think of this as the second method that I talked about, which is distributing the negative, then you get 15 plus 21i minus 18 plus 40i. So this negative distributes here as well, so a negative times a negative is a positive, so this becomes plus 40i. Then you combine your real parts and you combine your imaginary parts. So 15 minus 18 are the real parts and 21i plus 40i are the imaginary parts. And then you just simplify them. 15 minus 18 is negative 3, and 21 plus 40 is 61i. So your final answer would be negative 3 plus 61i.